So, hi, I'm Yona. I live in Albania, in Tirana, uh, where I study uh, for business informatics at the University of Tirana. Uh, also, I remember uh, at Open Labs that it's our hackerspace in Albania. Um, we have also Radon and Angelo here that we are part of it. Uh, at our hackerspace, we have like different kind of open source projects that we promote there. Uh, the first one for me was Fedora. So uh, I am a Fedora ambassador in Albania. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also a contributor at LibreOffice, but mostly at uh, local events there. So about topics that I will cover today, uh, I will talk a bit about women in general, so in FLOSS projects, uh, issues that we have, uh, women in LibreOffice, uh, I will share about uh, my experience and uh, how we can encourage women. Uh, so, if we see uh, at a survey that uh, it's done in 2002 uh, about different kind of open source projects, uh, not only LibreOffice, but also um, uh, for Debian uh, women or the other one, uh, we can see that we have like 1.1 percentage of the contributors are women. But if we see another one, a more recent one survey uh, that is done in uh, 2013, we can see uh, that the number is uh, higher. It's like 11 percentage of the contributors are women. But at the 11 percentage, we have only 1.5 percentage of uh, the girls that are uh, developers. So it's really a small number of the girls that can do like coding or developing. So when we see really small numbers, uh, lower one, we can see that we have some issues here. Why uh, the percentage is really low compared to men's. So what are the issues? We have like invisibility. Um, in different kinds of environments, uh, we, can, we have a small number of girls, but sometimes people pretend like uh, they are not there. They make statements like um, uh, they are invisible at the, uh, at the place where they are. So we have to be uh, even more, more careful with, uh, about, uh, with the words that we can say because we, can, uh, we, we, we want so that there can be, um, they can be, uh, feel more welcome at the place that they are. Uh, we, we want a more friendly community. And, but at the other uh, part, we have like e exceptionalism. So at invisibility, I said that we have uh, like, they pretend that the girls are not there. But at exceptionalism, we have like, they make statements like, whoa, uh, this is a girl. That, like there are some rare species. But also this one is not really good about girls when they hear it. Um, so this issue depends on the, at, uh, the environment that we have. We have like, uh, when, when we go to different events, not only local ones, but also uh, at bigger uh, conferences, we see lots of boys. So uh, it's better when we try to, to have a warmer place, like uh, we can talk more with them and not make statements like geeks and girls, they don't have anything in common. I made some investigation about women at LibreOffice. Um, I find it a bit hard to be honest because I couldn't find lots of statistics, uh, but I saw uh, the members uh, of TDF. So if we see uh, at the statistics about uh, different uh, uh, for example, uh, founding steering committee, we have like more than 10% of them are females 
and the other parts are, are meals. But if we see each of them, we can see that the, the majority part of it are males. So we don't have lots of females. But also it's another one. So if we see in general, we have like 8% of females. Uh, in fact, I saw also the Catherine statistics. So uh, because it's, sometimes it's hard when, the, uh, when you see the names of the members and you cannot see if it's a girl or the boy, so uh, so we have like only eight percentage of them are females, and the other part are only male. But at least we have some uh, some girls, some females that are part of the leadership roles. For example, like Marina, that is the chairwoman of TDF. So I think that this is a good start, so we can grow more and we can have like a higher percentage. But what, uh, here we can see how is the situation in Albania. If we see uh, the second edition of OSCAI, we can see like 50% um, of the participants or even more were girls. Also, if, this, if we see the other one, uh, uh, the group photo of this year, I can say that we have like 70% of them were girls. But when we see the participants, uh, volunteers, uh, also the organizing teams, we were like three boys and seven girls, part of it. Uh, we have lots of girls, but if we see the speakers at the conference, in fact, we don't have lots of them. We try to, to talk with lots of them to apply. Uh, we send them emails to, uh, for our call of, uh, call of proposals, but we have to do like, uh, we have to do more to have more girls at it. But why we have so, so many girls. Uh, here it's another photo uh, that we've done during um, Ada Lovelace Day. Uh, we try to organize events only with girls sometimes because we feel like more confident when we are only with each other so we can share better our experiences. And uh, here we were talking with girl, uh, Girls Code in Kosovo, that it's another group in Kosovo. So we can make some collaboration with each other. So we try to have uh, more open source projects of it. Uh, here we, uh, it's another group photo during uh, Mozilla weekend. So as you can see, we have like more than 50% of them are girls. Was it uh, yeah, so, so people can see better that we are more than that. It looks like you did this picture just for the presentation. Yes. <laughs> So uh, when, when I present and when I talk about women at Open Labs, people often say and ask me, how can you have lots of girls? In Albania, uh, we had like uh, lots of people studying, the, uh, studying at fields like uh, law uh, lawyers or economists, but now we have lots of them, so we need to try something else. So we see informatics or IT like a good field so we can find a good job and to have a good salary. So that's why um, we have lots of girls that, are, that, go, that uh, go to university and uh, they study to th these fields. For example, at my class we are like 
30, uh, 30 students. And we are like uh, 26 girls and only four boys. So, okay, it's really surprisingly, but that's how is the situation there. So, <clears throat> what we can do to encourage women? How we can get more women part of our open source project? So we can have a higher number of them. We need to recruit diversity. So we need to have a more diverse uh, community. We need more girls. And when I say diversity, in fact, I'm not talking about more girls, but also for, to have more uh, underrepresented groups, part of it. Of course that we need to create code of conduct. It's really important. So they can feel confident, they can feel they are in a warm place, they can feel they are in a friendly community. And we need to value all contributions because it doesn't matter if they are contributing to, to localize the software or to, to translate something or if they are part of the uh, documentation team, things like this, or marketing. Even, okay, coding is really important. It, it's uh, more difficult, but it doesn't matter. It's a contribution. So we need to say them, thank you for being part of our community. Thank you for your job. Uh, we need to have more events and conferences where they can go. Uh, for example, uh, I was in Berlin, so I didn't know that Kitty has a project only for women. But when I was there, I had the opportunity to talk with them in person. So we could uh, include also them part of the projects that we have. Also, uh, we can collaborate more with each other. When I say that we need conferences only for girls, I'm not saying that we need to be separated uh, by the others because we need to be, we need to collaborate with each other. That's how is the spirit of the community, at least. We need to have like groups or teams for women in FLOSS. For example, um, at Fedora, as I'm ambassador there, we have a diversity team. So uh, we, we have a team only for that. We need, we need to, to, to know what are our goals and we can uh, work much better when we are a small team for it. But if we don't have uh, a team only for that, of course that we, we, cannot, uh, we cannot have a good attention to have more women part of our community. And also, if we have a team only for that, we can have like mailing lists or other online forums where, where we can talk. For example, a mailing list only for women, a IRC channel, or whatever it is. So uh, thank you for being here and for hearing me. So if you have any question, 